Disclaimer Efforts have been made to not to infringe with any copyright. If so, it may be brought to our notice for its acknowledgement in future editions. No part of this digital content be reproduced, stored or distributed in any or by any means either on paper or electronic media unless authorized. Digital Content for Candidate with Disability Sector Agriculture and Allied Subsector Agriculture Allied Activity Occupation Beekeeping Reference ID AGR slash Q5301 NSQF Level 4 Unit 5 Insects, Diseases and Nuisances Management in Beehive Unit 5.3 Nuisances to Beekeeping and their Management Insecticide Poisoning in Honeybees Honeybees also enhance seed, vegetable and fruit yields by providing pollination service and these crops are attacked by pests and diseases. Honeybee forage on bee floral crop to collect nectar and pollen or both mainly during the period of crop blooming. Thus, use of insecticides during the crop blooming period is of major concern of the beekeepers. Application of insecticides on bee floral crops like Baresca ginsea, Baresca nepus, Baresca rapa, Semamum indicum, Trifolium axelandrium, Helianthus anus, Fruit and vegetable crops during their blooming periods may cause major cause of pollinators. Causes Causes of insecticidal poisoning Direct exposure of bees to insecticides while foraging on flowers Residual and drifting insecticity to pollinators Collection of pollen or nectar contaminated with insecticides which can result in toxicity to young bees or brood Insecticide poisoning symptoms Sudden and excessive bee mortality in large number of honeybee colonies in the apiary Presence of large number of dead bees in front of the hives or on the boom boards of the hives Crawling and trembling movements of legs The bees poisoned with insecticide may sometimes fall sideways or upside down and make trembling movements Some of the dead bees may have pollen loaded in their pollen baskets Minimizing loss caused by insecticidal toxicity to bees so avoid placing colonies in an area or crop where insecticidal application is very frequent. If necessary, keep colonies quite away from the crop to be sprayed frequently. Preferably maintain your apiary at a place where use of pesticides is the minimum. The beekeeper, the beekeeper should remain updated with the information regarding time, frequency and type of pesticide application in the area around apiary. Study prevalent wind direction to place colonies in such a way to prevent damage to honeybee colonies because of drifting of insecticide sprayed on the nearby crop. Beekeepers should be in regular contact of the farmers in the area to have a watch on their insecticide application programs. This will enable the beekeepers to take precautions 
to minimize bee mortality. Close the entrances of the colonies with wire screen early in the morning before bees start foraging. If due to heavy pest attack, the crop around apiary is being, is being sprayed very frequently, migrate colonies to some other flora or area which is safer for the bees. Request the farmers to avoid spraying insecticides during the crop blooming period. If possible, ask for non-chemical measures to manage pests and diseases during flowering stage of the crop. In the next video, we will discuss about harvesting and processing of honey and other hive products.